In WordPress, each post type and taxonomy automatically gets an index page that lists all posts that belong to it. These index pages are called archives. For example, your blog page is an archive and it lists all your posts, like here. In our example, we have a site about gyms and trainers with custom post types and taxonomies. Therefore, we also have archive pages for them and here's an archive page for gyms. Here is the one for trainers. And if we edit our trainer specialty taxonomy on the back end and click to view the yoga term, for example, we get a page with all trainers specializing in yoga classes. So again, this also is an archive page. The problem is that the default archive output you will get from Teams is not really impressive. Most Teams display only the post title and the post excerpt for archive pages, something like this. You can see that all our custom fields and taxonomies are ignored. Luckily, using Toolset you can fully customize the archives and display any content you want, including custom fields and taxonomies. Ok, let's do it, let's create a custom archive. Go to the Toolset dashboard and click to create an archive for your post type. In our case, it's Gyms. A Toolset archive is automatically created and we are now in the archive editor. The area within the orange border is where we design the archive loop. Let's add our first block and you'll quickly see how it works. We'll insert a Gym photo first. We want to display an image specific to each post, so we insert the toolset image block. Yes, we want to use a dynamic source because Gym Photo is a custom field. We select the field group and then the field itself. And there it is, our archive got updated and we can see each Gym entry. By the way, you can use the right sidebar at any time to tweak different options for the currently selected block. So. Here you can see that gyms are displayed in a two-column grid. That's the default layout, which we can change later. But now, let's add a few more blocks. Let's insert the toolset container block now. Containers allow you to group blocks. And we can drag and drop our image block into our new container. Nice and easy. Next, we want to display the post title as a heading, so we insert the toolset heading block. Just like we did for images, we can enable the dynamic source for this heading. Then, for the source, we select the post title and that's it. All gym items got updated with their own titles. It's that simple. Every gym post also has a numeric custom field for the gym's rating. We want to display it nicely using stars, so we insert the toolset star rating block. Again, we turn on the dynamic source, select the custom field and that's it. We can also change the color of the stars to a custom green. Nice! Ok, next, let's insert the post excerpt. It is a post field, so we use the toolset single field block. We choose the standard field option and select the post excerpt. And look, we can easily adjust the number of words to display. Let's say 25. Now let me show you a nice tip. You can also duplicate blocks for faster workflow. For example, let's duplicate the single field block and change the field type to taxonomy. Nice! Two simple clicks and we can see different sets of activities that each gym offers. Finally, let's add a button that links to the individual gym pages. The toolset button block supports dynamic sources as well, so we insert it. We enable the dynamic source for the link and set it to post URL. Of course, you can style the button further, but for now, let's just change the label. OK. We are now done with the basic setup. If needed, you can tweak the block styling at any time later. Now, let's change the number of columns of our archive grid. The default is 2. We can easily change this by tweaking the settings for the WordPress archive loop. But how do we find it and how do we select it? No problem, simply click the block navigation button at the top of the editor and you'll get a list of your blocks with their hierarchy. 
This is important because your designs can quickly become more advanced and this is the quickest way to find and tweak any block. So, let's select the WordPress archive loop and under the loop style section we can easily change the number of columns. Nice and easy. Ok, let's save our archive and check it out on the front end. Cool! It's basically the same as our backend design. Let me quickly show you a few more cool features you can use to customize and improve your archives further. You can add a custom search to your archive. Select the WordPress archive block and toggle the search option. Then you can simply start adding your search fields. You can also add content above or below the archive loop. If you want to apply the same archive to your taxonomy as well, it's also possible. Expand the section called Loop Selection and simply check the taxonomies you want to apply the archive to. Toolset Archive features allow you to create unlimited custom designs. Feel free to tweak the archive with your own design ideas. For quick inspiration, let me show you a quick tip. Go to the image block and in the style settings add a button margin. Now expand the hover style section and set the scale to something like 110. And that's it! Now your images will have a nice hover effect. Cool! Our gym archive looks pretty good now. Of course, you can tweak it further to match your site's overall design like this. For example, you can change the font size and colors of all your elements and add hover effects for the buttons.